In this video, we'll cover how to get started executing successful deliveries using the mobile app. The app is supported across both iOS and Android devices and access is by invitation only. That means once an administrator adds you to their organization, this will trigger an automatic SMS message with a link to download and install the app. The link will also include a temporary password that you will use to sign into the app for the first time. Once signed in, you'll be prompted to set up a permanent password. If you're working with multiple organizations, choose which organization you'll be working with today from the drop-down menu here. To go on duty, slide the toggle at the top of the app. Once you are assigned tasks by a dispatcher, they will appear in a list on the app as today's tasks. View the tasks on the map by changing the view in the upper right. You can jump back to your task list by using the same button. Click on the first task in the list. You can navigate to your destination by clicking this button here, or you can start the task and navigate in one action. I'm going to hold to ta the task to start. Pay close attention to any recipient or task details and contact the recipient if need be using the buttons over here to message or telephone them. Once the task delivery or pickup is complete, tap to complete. Choose a completion status, either success or failure. If failure, choose the best reason from the list or other and use the open text field to provide any additional information. Include any required proof of delivery options if necessary. Options seen here are defined by your organization. Photo, barcode scan, a signature, or an age verification. Let's do a quick signature. Okay, like that, and now we can save that. Once we are finished, we can complete with success, and we're back to our list of tasks here. We'll repeat the process through the queue of tasks. Review your personal task history via the Analytics tab located in the center of the bottom bar. This tab contains several charts that summarize the driver's historic deliveries, including number of tasks completed, miles driven, and time on duty split into in-transit time and idle time. Let's change gears and talk about on-fleet chat. Communicating with your team without having to leave the app is easy. Utilize chat in the lower right corner of your screen. You can start a new conversation by tapping this icon in the upper right corner now. Choose a dispatcher or other driver from your team. Enter text, photo, or a voice memo and send to your teammate. You can access personal and transportation details in the app settings. Also set various preferences like language, notifications and sounds, task advancement behavior and navigation. As far as navigation preferences, you can choose from Google Maps, Apple Maps, Waze or here, depending on what you have installed on the device. Don't forget to check out our support center or the tutorial if you have any questions. At the end of your shift, all you need to do is go off duty just like you went on duty.